PACT uh, supports our member states. I mean, we're a UN agency, so member state uh, based or, and driven. And so we support our member states in fighting cancer. That's, that, that's the simple answer. How we do so by um, harnessing resources and, and partnerships and bringing together the various stakeholders and trying to have a coordinated approach to ensuring that uh, countries have access to radiotherapy, yeah. uh, diagnostic imaging, uh, and, 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 and radiotherapy. So that's basically what yeah. we do. The, the mandate of the agency, of course, uh, is, um, is, I mean, we're thought of as the nuclear watchdogs. Uh, that's what we're best known for. And p most people associate the IAA with uh, Iran and, yeah. and uh, DPR Korea, but we have actually a huge uh, program in, in health. Um, and cancer particularly. I think that there's over a hundred people in one way or another working, uh, working in cancer. Um, um, everybody uh, in, the, in, the, in the general public would assume that everybody's got radiotherapy. Tell us the no, facts. Unfortunately not. Uh, I'm actually a, a, a cancer survivor and I have the dual citizenship, one of which is a country in Europe and the other one a country in Africa. And I always say that the only reason why I'm alive today is probably because I happen to be living in the European country and not uh, the African country and therefore was diagnosed early and, and had adequate treatment. And that's just not acceptable in the 21st century. That, you know, whether you get to live or die depends on, you know, an, an accident of birth. Um, most countries, I mean, there are over 36 countries worldwide that have absolutely no access to radiotherapy. Nothing, nothing at all. Um, and, and, and so that's what we do. We try to support those countries in getting access to radiotherapy, but doing so, not, you know, just plunking a radiotherapy unit in the country, but making sure that that is part of a comprehensive cancer control program where there are, you know, robust registries that, you know, enable us to know what the, the incidence uh, of the disease is and where it's uh, um, located and in what areas and what types, that there is a national cancer control plan that we align behind and that is country driven and that the country has ownership of. Uh, that there's adequate prevention and screening and detection, early detection, and then treatment. Um, treatment that is surgery, there's three pillars as you know, yeah. um, surgery, chemotherapy, and, uh, and radiotherapy, and palliative care. Um, and so we, we need to make sure that everything is in place, that all of the different components are harmonized, and that you know, radiotherapy is part of a, you know, that we look at it in terms of strengthening the health system, that it is a component of, of a, a strong, robust health system, um, because we believe that that's the only way to, to address the issue in a sustainable manner. The size and the enormity of, of the problem is so great that I don't think we're going to, to be able to address it uh, with what we have today right. and conventional uh, ways of doing so. So I think that we need to, to strive for innovative financing, I think that's key, innovative partnerships and innovative technologies to address, to address the issue and, and that's what PACT is about, mm -hmm. is trying to you know, coordinate yeah. a, a global response. We work with lots of partners banks, um, um, private sector, NGOs, because we are all needed and we all have an important role to play. And it's a complementary role uh, because the issue is complex and huge and daunting and, uh, and we need to save lives.